Hello everyone! Today we will have a new lesson about introduction to mobile devices. Today's mobile devices are multifunctional devices capable of hosting a broad range of applications for both business and consumer use. Smartphones and tablets enable people to use their mobile device to access the internet for email, instant messaging, text messaging, and web browsing, as well as work documents, contact list, and more. Mobile devices are often seen as an extension to your own PC or laptop, and in some cases, newer, more powerful mobile devices can even completely replace PC. And when the devices are used together, work done remotely on a mobile device can be synchronized with PC to reflect changes and new information while away from the computer. A mobile device or handheld computer is a computer small enough to hold and operate in the hand. Typically, any handheld computer device will have an LCD or OLED flat screen interface, providing a touch screen interface with digital buttons and keyboard or physical buttons along with a physical keyboard. Many such devices can connect to the internet and interconnect with other devices, such as car entertainment systems or headsets via Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular networks, or near-field communication. Integrated cameras, the ability to place and receive voice and video telephone calls, video games, and global positioning system or GPS capabilities are common. Power is typically provided by a lithium battery. Mobile devices may run mobile operating system that allow third-party apps specialized for said capabilities to be installed and run. In the computer world, the term mobile device refers to any electronic device that be easily moved from one location to another. Over time, this category has expanded to include cell phones, laptops, smartphones, smartwatches, and other portable devices. Let us proceed to the types of mobile devices. The term mobile device refers to a wide range of consumer electronics. Mobile device typically is used to describe portable devices that can connect to the internet. However, some also classify connected digital cameras and standard MP3 players as mobile devices as well. There are many types of mobile devices designed for different applications. This includes mobile computers, mobile phones, digital cameras, wearable computers, pagers, personal navigation device or PND, and smart cards. So what is mobile computer? Mobile computing is human-computer interaction in which a computer is expected to be transported during normal usage, which allows for transmission of data, voice, and video. Mobile computing involves mobile communication, mobile hardware, and mobile software. Communication issues include ad hoc networks and infrastructure networks, as well as communication properties, protocols, data formats, and concrete technologies. Hardware includes mobile devices or device components. Mobile software deals with the characteristics and requirements of mobile applications. Example of the mobile computers are tablet computer, netbook, digital media player, enterprise digital assistant, graphing calculator, handheld, game console, handheld PC, laptop, 
mobile internet device or MID, personal digital assistant or PDA, pocket calculator, portable media player, and ultra mobile PC. Let's discuss about mobile phones. A mobile phone, cellular phone, cell phone, or cell phone, or hand phone, sometimes shortened to simply mobile cell, or just phone, is a portable telephone that can make and receive calls over a radio frequency link while the user is moving within a telephone service area. The radio frequency link establishes a connection to the switching systems of a mobile phone operator, which provides access to the public switch telephone network. Modern mobile telephone services use a cellular network architecture, and therefore, mobile telephones are called cellular telephones or cell phones in North America. In addition to telephony, Digital mobile phones support a variety of other services such as text messaging, MMS, email, internet access, short-range wireless communications like infrared or Bluetooth, business applications, video games, and digital photography. Mobile phones offering only those capabilities are known as feature phones. Mobile phones which are offer greatly advanced computing capabilities are referred to as smartphones. Example of the mobile phones are camera phones, feature phones, smartphones, and tablets. How about the digital cameras? A digital camera or digicam is a camera that captures photographs in digital memory. Most cameras produced today are digital. And while there are still dedicated digital cameras, many more cameras are now incorporated into mobile devices like smartphones, which can, among many other purposes, use their cameras to initiate live video telephony, and directly edit and upload imagery to others. However, high-end, high-definition dedicated cameras are still commonly used by professionals and those who desire to take higher quality photographs. Digital and digital movie cameras share an optical system, typically using a lens with a variable diaphragm to focus light onto an image pickup device. The diaphragm and shutter admit the correct amount of light to the image, just as with film, but the image pickup device is electronic rather than chemical. However, unlike film cameras, digital cameras can display images on a screen immediately after being recorded, and store and delete images from memory. Many digital cameras can also record moving videos with sound. Some digital cameras can crop and stitch pictures and perform other elementary image editing. Example of the digital cameras are digital camcorder, digital still camera or DSC, digital video camera or DVC, and front-facing camera. Let's proceed to the wearable computers. A wearable computer, also known as a wearable or body-worn computer, is a small computing device worn on the body. The definition of wearable computer may be narrow or broad, extending to smartphones or even ordinary wristwatches. Wearable may be for general use, in which case they are just a particularly small example of mobile computing. Alternatively, they may be for specialist purposes such as fitness trackers. They may incorporate special sensors such as accelerometers, thermometer, and heart rate monitors 
are novel user interfaces such as Google Glass and optical head-mounted display controlled by gestures. It may be that specialized wearables were evolved into general all-in-one devices as happened with the convergence of PDA and mobile phones into smartphones. Wearables are typically worn on the wrist, like fitness trackers, hung from the neck, like a necklace, strapped to the arm or leg, like smartphones when exercising, or on the head as glasses or a helmet, though some have been located elsewhere, on a finger or in a shoe. Devices carried in a pocket or bag, such as smartphones, and before them, pocket calculators and PDA may or may not be regarded as worn. Example of wearable computers are calculator watch, smartwatch, and head-mounted display. So what are the kinds of mobile computers? Let us talk about tablet computer. A tablet computer, commonly shortened to tablet, is a mobile device typically with a mobile operating system and touch screen display processing circuitry and a rechargeable battery in a single thin and flat package. Tablets being computers do what other personal computers do but lacks some input or output abilities that others have. Modern tablets largely resemble modern smartphones, the only differences being that tablets are relatively larger than smartphones, with screens 7 inches or 18 centimeters or larger, measured diagonally and may not support access to a cellular network. Next is the netbook. A netbook belongs to a class of small, lightweight, legacy-free, and inexpensive laptop computers introduced in 2007. Netbooks compete in the same market segment as MOBAs and Chromebooks. How about a digital media player? A digital media player also sometimes known as a streaming device or streaming box, is a type of consumer electronics device designed for the storage, playback, or viewing of digital media content. They are typically designed to be integrated into a home cinema configuration and attached to a television or AV receiver. How about the enterprise? Digital Assistant A portable data terminal, or shortly PDT, is an electronic device that is used to enter or retrieve data via wireless transmission, WLAN or W1. They have also been called Enterprise Digital Assistants or EDA, Data Capture Mobile Devices, Batch Terminals, or just portables. They can also serve as barcode readers and they are used in large stores, warehouses, hospitals, or information the field to access a database from a remote location. Others have a touch screen, RDA, Bluetooth, a memory card slot, or one or more data capture devices. PDTs frequently run wireless device management software that allows them to interact with a database or software application hosted on a server or mainframe computer. Let's proceed to the graphing calculator. A graphing calculator, also graphics calculator or graphic display calculator, is a handheld computer that is capable of plotting graphs, solving simultaneous equations, and performing other tasks with variables. Most popular graphing calculators are also programmable 
and therefore considered to be programmable calculators, allowing the user to create customized programs, typically for scientific, engineering, and education applications. Because they have large display in comparison to standard for operation handheld calculators, graphing calculators also typically display several lines of text and calculations at the same time. Next, the handheld game console. A handheld game console, or simply handheld console, is a small, portable, self-contained video game console with a built-in screen, game controls, and speakers. Handheld game consoles are smaller than home video game consoles and contain the console, screen, speakers, and controls in one unit, allowing the people to carry them and play them at any time or place. Let's talk about handheld PC. A handheld PC, or HPC for short, is a computer built around a form factor which is significantly smaller than any lap standard laptop computer. It is sometimes referred to as palm top computer. Most handheld PC use an operating system specifically designed for mobile use such as Microsoft's Windows, ultra-compact laptops capable of running common x86 compatible desktop operating systems are typically classified as sub-notebooks. The first handheld device compatible with desktop IBM personal computers of the time was the Atari portfolio of 1989. Other early models were the Pocket PC of 1989 and the Hewlett Packard HP 95LX of 1991. Other DOS-compatible handheld computers also existed. Next is about laptop. A laptop, also laptop computer, is a small portable personal computer with a clamshell form factor, typically having a thin LCD or LED computer screen mounted on the inside of the upper lid of the clamshell and an alphanumeric keyboard on the inside of the lower lid. The clamshell is open up to use the computer. Laptops are folded shut for transportation and thus are suitable for mobile use. Its name comes from lap as it was deemed to be placed on a person's lap when being used. Although originally there was a distinction between laptops and notebooks, as of 2014, there is often no longer any difference. Today, laptops are commonly used in a variety of settings such as at work, in education, for playing games, web browsing, for personal multimedia and general home computer use. Next is the mobile internet device. A mobile internet device or MID is a multimedia capable mobile device providing wireless internet access. They are designed to provide entertainment, information and location based services for personal or business use. They allow two-way communication and real-time sharing. They have been described as filling in a niche between a smartphones and tablet computers. As all the features of MID started becoming available on smartphones and tablets, the term is now mostly used to refer to both low-end as well as high-end tablets. Next is the Personal Digital Assistant A personal digital assistant or PDA, also known as a handheld PC, is a variety mobile device which functions as a personal information manager. PDAs have been mostly displaced by the widespread adoption of highly capable smartphones, in particular those based on iOS and Android.
Nearly all modern PDA have the ability to connect to the internet. A PDA has an electronic visual display, letting it include a web browser. Most models also have audio capabilities, allowing usage as a portable media player, and also enabling most of them to be used as telephones. Most PDAs can access the internet, intranets, or extranets via Wi-Fi or wireless wide area networks. Sometimes, instead of buttons, PDA employ touchscreen technology. The technology industry has recently recycled the term personal digital assistance. The term is more commonly used for software that identifies a user's voice to reply to the queries. How about packet calculator? An electronic calculator is typically a portable electronic device used to perform calculations ranging from basic arithmetic to complex mathematics. Next, the portable media player. A portable media player or PMP or digital audio player or DAP is a portable consumer electronics device capable of storing and playing digital media such as audio, images, and video files. The data is typically stored on a CD, DVD, BD, flash memory, micro drive, or hard drive. Most portable media players are equipped with a 3.5 mm headphone jack which users can plug headphones into or connect to a boombox or hi-fi system. In contrast, analog portable audio players play music from non-digital media that use analog signal storage such as cassette tapes or vinyl records. Often, mobile digital audio players are marketed and sold as portable MP3 players even if they also support other file formats and media types, increasing sales of smartphones and tablets computers have led to a decline in sales of portable media players, leading to most devices being paced out. Though flagship devices like the Apple iPad and Sony Walkman are still in production, portable DVD BD players are still manufactured by brands across the world. And last example for the mobile computer is the Ultra Mobile PC. An Ultra Mobile PC or Ultra Mobile Personal Computer or UMPC is a miniature version of a pen computer class of laptop whose specifications were launched by Microsoft and Intel in spring 2006. Sony had already made a first attempt in this direction in 2004 with its Bio U series, which was however only sold in Asia. UMPCs are generally smaller than sub-notebooks, have a TFT display measuring about 12 0.7 to 17.8 centimeters or 5 to 7 inches screen are operated like tablet PC using a touch screen or a stylus and can also have a physical keyboard. There is no clear boundary between sub notebooks and ultra mobile PC but UMPC commonly have form factors other than the common clamshell laptop design, such as having small keys on either side of the screen or having a slide-out keyboard. Let's proceed to the kinds of mobile phones. First, the camera phones. A camera phone is a mobile phone 
which is able to capture photographs and often record video using one or more built-in digital cameras. It can also send the resulting image over the telephone function. The first commercial camera phone was the Kyocera Visual Phone BP-210, released in Japan in May 1999. It was a cordless phone as distinct from a cellular mobile phone. Next, the picture phones. A picture phone is a mobile phone that retains the form factor of earlier generation phones with button-based input and a small display. Feature phones are sometimes called dumb phones in contrast with touch input smartphones. They tend to use an embedded operating system with a small and simple graphical user interface, unlike large and complex mobile operating systems like Android or iOS. Feature phones typically provide voice calling and text messaging functionality as well as basic multimedia and internet capabilities and other services offered by the user's wireless service provider. Feature phones often contain things like a backlit LCD screen, a hardware notification LED, a micro USB port, a physical keyboard, a microphone, an SD card slot, a rear-facing camera to record video and capture pictures, and GPS. Some feature phones include a rudimentary app store that include basic software such as mobile games, calendar, and calculator programs. Next is the smartphone. A smartphone is a mobile device that combines cellular and mobile computing functions into one unit. They are distinguished from feature phones by their stronger hardware capabilities and extensive mobile operating systems, which facilitate wider software internet, including web browsing over mobile broadband, and multimedia functionality, including music, video, cameras, and gaming, alongside core phone functions such as voice calls and text messaging. Smartphones typically contain a number of metal oxide semiconductor, or MOS, integrated circuit chips, or IC, include various sensors that can be leveraged by their software, such as a magnetometer, proximity sensors, barometer, gyroscope, or accelerometer, and support wireless communication protocols such as Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or satellite navigation. And last example for the mobile phone is the tablet. The tablet is a class of mobile devices combining or straddling the size format of smartphones and tablets. The word itself is a portmanteau of the words phone and tablet. Tablets feature large displays that complement screen-intensive activity such as mobile web browsing and multimedia viewing. They may also include software optimized for an integral self-storing stylus to facilitate sketching a note-taking and annotation. Tablets were originally designed for the Asian market where consumers could not afford both a smartphone and tablet as in North America. Phones for that market are known for having budget specs big battery with large low-resolution screens and mid-range processors, although other tablets have flagship specifications. Since then, tablets in North America have also become successful for several reasons. Android 4.0 and subsequent releases of Android were suited to large as well as small screen sizes, while older consumers preferred larger screen 
sizes on smartphones due to deteriorating eyesight. Let's talk about the kinds of digital cameras. First example is the digital camcorder. A camcorder is an electronic device originally combining a video camera and a video cassette recorder. The earliest camcorders were tape-based, recording analog signals onto videotape cassettes. In 2006, digital recording became the norm with the tape replaced by storage media such as mini HD, micro DVD, internal flash memory, and SD cards. More recent devices capable of recording video are camera phones and digital cameras primarily intended for still pictures. The term camcorder may be used to describe a portable, self-contained device with video capture and recording its primary function, often having advanced function over more common cameras. Next is the still, digital still camera or DSC. A digital camera or digicam is a camera that captures photographs in digital memory. Most cameras produced today are digital and while there are still dedicated digital cameras, many more cameras are now incorporated into mobile devices like smartphones which can, among many other purposes, use their cameras to initiate live video telephony and directly edit and upload image to others. However, high-end, high-definition dedicated cameras are still commonly used by professionals and those who desire to take higher quality photographs. Digital and digital movie cameras share an optical system typically using a lens with a variable diaphragm to focus light onto an image pickup device. The diaphragm and shutter admit the correct amount of light to the image, just as with film, but the image pickup device is electronic rather than chemical. However, unlike film cameras, digital cameras can display images on a screen immediately after being recorded and store and delete images from memory. Many digital cameras can also record moving videos with sound. Some digital cameras can crop and stitch pictures and perform other elementary image editing. Next is the digital video camera or DVC. A video camera is a camera used for electronic motion picture acquisition, which records images on film. Initially developed for the television industry, but now common in other applications such as well. Video cameras are used primarily in two modes. The first, characteristics of much early broadcasting is live television, where the camera feeds real-time images directly to a screen for immediate observation. A few cameras still serve live television production, but most live connections are for security, military or tactical, and industrial operations where surreptitious or remote viewing is required. In the second mode, the images are recorded to a storage device for archiving or further processing. For many years, video tape was the primary format used for this purpose, but was gradually supplanted by optical disk, hard disk, and then flash memory. Recorded video is used in television production and more often surveillance and monitoring tasks in which an attended recording of a situation is required for later analysis.
Last example is the front pacing camera. A front pacing camera is a common feature of cameras, mobile phones, smartphones, and tablets. While standalone cameras face forward, away from the operator, tablets, smartphones, and similar mobile devices typically have a camera facing the operator to allow taking a self-portrait photograph or video while looking at the display of the device, usually showing a live preview of the image. These are called front pacing cameras and are important for video telephony and the taking of selfies. Often, the preview image is by default a mirror image which is more intuitive for most people. This default can be overridden and in any case, the recorded image is not reversed. Let's talk about the kinds of wearable computers. First example is the calculator watch. A calculator watch is a digital watch with a built-in calculator, usually including buttons on the watch page. Calculator watches were first introduced in 1970s and continue to be produced despite falling from their peak popularity during the 1980s. The most notable brand is the Casio Data Bank series, though watches made by Timex are also popular. Most calculator watches contain only a few number of functions, such as add, subtract, multiply, divide, and percents. However, there are several models with additional functions, scientific, including transcendent and trigonometry, in models Casio CFX200, CFX400, Citizen 49-9421, financial functions, and also TV remote control functions. Next, the smartwatch. A smartwatch is a wearable computer in the form of watch. Modern smart smartwatches provide a local touchscreen interface for daily use, while an associated smartphone app provides for management and telemetry such as long-term biomonitoring. While early models could perform basic tasks such as calculations, digital time-telling, translations, and game-playing in 2010s, smart Watches have more generally functionality closer to smartphones, including mobile apps, a mobile operating system, and Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connectivity. Some smartwatches function as portable media players with FM radio and playback of digital audio and video files via a Bluetooth headset. Some models called watch phones have mobile cellular functionality like making calls. Next, the headed mounted display. A head mounted display or HMD is a display device worn on the head or as part of a helmet that has a small display optic in front of one or monocular HMD or HI or the binocular HMD. An HMD has many uses, including gaming, aviation, engineering, and medicine. Virtual reality headsets are HMDs combined with IMU. There is also an optical head-mounted display, OHMD, which is a wearable display that can reflect projected images and allows a user to see through it. Let's talk about the other types of mobile devices in terms of pagers. A pager, also known as a beeper, is a wireless telecommunications device that receives and displays alphanumeric or voice messages. 
one-way pagers can only receive messages, while response pagers and two-way pagers can also acknowledge, reply to, and originate messages using an internal transmitter. Pagers operate as part of a paging system, which includes one or more fixed transmitters, or in the case of pagers operate as part of a two-way pagers, one or more base stations, as well as a number of pagers carried by mobile users. These systems can range from a restaurant system with a single low-power transmitter to a nationwide system with thousands of high-power base stations. Another type is the Personal Navigation Device, or PND. A Personal Navigation Assistant, or PNA, also known as Personal Navigation Device, or Portable Navigation Device, or PND is a portable electronic product which combines a positioning capability such as GPS and navigation functions. Some PNA devices are PDAs with limited features and can be unlocked. And the last type of mobile devices is the smart card. A smart card, chip card, or integrated circuit card, or ICC, is a physical electronic authorization device used to control access to a resource. It is typically a plastic credit card size card with an embedded integrated circuit or IC chip. Many smart cards include a pattern of metal contacts to electrically connect to the internal chip. Others are contactless and some are both. Smart cards can provide personal identification, authentication, data storage, and application processing. Applications include identification, financial, mobile phone SIM, public transit, computer security, schools, and healthcare. Smart cards may provide strong security authentication for single sign-on or SSO with organizations. Numerous nations have deployed smart cards throughout their populations. Here is a sample image of smart cards. That's all for the discussion regarding the introduction to mobile phones or mobile devices. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.